Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're doing well and if you're not, I hope your day gets better. Today I'm talking about something my brain worked really well then. Today Don't let me drown Don't let me drown Today I'm going to be talking about parental responsibility. And this has only occurred within like the last 48 hours. I wasn't going to talk about it, but it, it's it's due in my head in, to be honest. Just to be very blunt right at the beginning, if you have a child and you don't like what they are watching, that is your responsibility, not the responsibility of the creator. It's all came up because I posted a video talking about my physical health. And in that video, I collapsed. It's not where I fainted, I hit the floor, I went whoosh, and I wet claw. So that wasn't good. I, that happens to me quite a lot. That it happens most days for me because my blood pressure is low. I'll put a screenshot of my most recent taking of it here. I took a photo to send Becca. My blood pressure is low, so I collapse. And I'm only now going under investigation and they currently suspect that I have POTS, which is a tachycardia condition. It would make sense given a lot of what I experience, but hey, further testing, then we'll know, we'll have a diagnosis, we'll know what to do, we'll know how to move forward. That's what it's all about. So the comment I got was on that video. This is what they put to me. I'd like to know after you got off, why did you think to look at the camera? My room's a rectangle. My camera was in front of me. Where else am I supposed to look? At the floor? At the ceiling? Is my eyes? I don't know. <sighs> That annoyed me. Wouldn't you check if you banged your head? I knew, and as you can see in the video, that I was going down. Was saying I feel like headed. So I lent I was leaning against my door. So I would slide down either one way and only whack the side or this side off something. I did it I leant against the door intentionally so I wouldn't injure myself. Like I said, this is something I've dealt with since I was yay high. I, I like this has been an ongoing issue. It's actually not as bad as it used to be. I used to collapse and have seizures when I was younger. Wouldn't you check if you banged your head? I did, and I also had the mental health team out the same night. And they are trained professionals. They everything out and just told me to rest. I'm confused also. When you dropped, did you pass out? But no, I didn't like completely pass out. I fainted, but I was only down. I was on the floor for about a minute, two minutes, and then I made. Because when you when you faint, um, I'm confused and very concerned. My daughter has just watched this and asked me to watch. She's very very vulnerable. I don't know what your daughter watching my video has got to do with me. Your daughter is your daughter. You have to moderate them, not me. My videos don't meet the criteria to age restrict. My channel's not that bad compared to a lot of other mental health YouTubers who do show like fresh self-harm intentionally. I've never intentionally shown self-harm art. Obviously I have scars and I'm not gonna hide that. Um, the fact that your daughter's vulnerable means you should take more control of it. And what I put in the comment back was literally answering everything she asked. Like I didn't, I wasn't being horrible, I was being bluntly honest. They are your kids, your responsibility. Which is true, like your kids are not my lookout. I'm not the parent, I don't have kids, I'm 22. I've never claimed to be family friendly. Um, on YouTube, when you upload now, you have to say whether it's suitable for kids or not. And I always click no. If your child is over the age of fucking 13, yeah, they're gonna see that's not my problem. I don't set my videos up for kids because they're not. I swear. I talk about sensitive subjects. Like I just I literally post that on YouTube. I like I just need to say this because people have said it before, people will say it again. At least then it's just there. Like, you know. I wasn't like maliciously attacking the person. I didn't say who this person was. I didn't sell a video they was from. I literally just said that the, your what your child does have nothing to do with me. What can I do? You are physically with them. You can put apps on their phone to prevent them searching certain keywords. That's your responsibility, not mine. My channel is literally dedicated to mental health awareness and health awareness and just living life with mental illness. Nothing about that needs to be age restricted. Mental illness affects people of all ages and there are so many documentaries about children with mental illness and I, I'm not going to get into that but children, adults, Mental health affects all of us, and I try and make my videos as educational as possible, which is why I left that fainting clip in. I left that clip in because I know there is other pe there are other people out there that, that happens to, and I can say that just by reading the comments section on that video and on other videos that people relate to what I say, and I wouldn't change that. Like I wouldn't change what I do and what I say. Like yes, in the past I have made mistakes. 
you know, I used to use cocaine, I used to drink alcohol every day, you know, I, I've made mistakes, but I'm not afraid to own up to them. As someone who, as a child, got censored from, I knew nothing about mental health when I was a kid, I knew nothing about serious health issues as a kid, like, I didn't even know what a fucking heart attack was when I was a kid, like, when I was so shielded from the real world that made being slower in school i was the slow kid you know i wasn't up to date with how people was it took me a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of energy to catch up with everyone else like i didn't grow up the same rate as other kids because i was so shielded from everything my overall thing here though is i'm not gonna start censoring my own content just because of one parent youtube kids app exists for a reason parental locks exist for a reason they should be used for that don't blame creators for your kids searching up and if i was a parent and my kid was watching a video about mental health you know what i'd probably sit down with them and have a chat about it just talk to them and that fainting video you know what all that went on in that video was i celebrated my birthday i got home and I, my body was running so fast that i fainted because my blood pressure had dropped and my heart rate went insane that's all that vlog was there was nothing I wasn't even you know, about mental health in that. Um, that's kind of what I've got for this video. Communicate with you guys. Have a conversation with you guys. Like, what are your, what's your opinion on this? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.